Uh, there's now a program in Singapore to train audiologists. It was launched today by the National University of Singapore. The Masters of Science degree course seeks to meet the growing needs of the hearing impaired and a rapidly aging population. Sarah Gross with more. Learning how to measure hearing ability is quite a big change for Maureen Ding. She decided to make a mid-career switch after working in the finance sector for 20 years. This after experiencing a mild episode of hearing loss herself following a viral infection two years ago. That's what triggered my interest as well because I went through a period where I had actually difficulty hearing um, in noisy places, in restaurants and so on. So that was actually quite distressing for me. Under the two-year course, Maureen, along with her peers, will learn specialized skills, such as evaluating ear-related balance disorders and fitting hearing aids and inner ear implants. A research component will also focus on genetics and regional infections. There are currently 60 audiologists in Singapore in both the public and private sectors, and all of them have received their training overseas. So it's hoped that with this master's degree program, it will increase the pool of local grown audiologists to meet the rising healthcare demands. A national health survey showed that one in four people between the ages of 60 and 69 already suffer from hearing impairment. The incidence of hearing loss and impairment continues to increase with age. Presently, we have around 30 audiologists working in the public health care institutions. But to meet the health care needs of our rapidly aging population, we need to grow our, our audiologists' manpower pool and continually develop their capabilities. A larger pool of audiologists could also help raise awareness on the importance of hearing well. If we have more audiologists, the other very nice thing, we're able to right side the care at the community level. Yeah. So I think if we are able to have uh, audiologists, not just in hospitals, but in, uh, around the neighbourhoods, in the polyclinics, um, I think that would really increase the access uh, and encourage more patients to come. Nearly $20 million has been donated to help fund the master's programme over eight years.